welcome to a key smash studios tutorial in this video i will be continuing on with our weapon pickup series in the previous video i showed you how to get the animations into the game in the video before that i showed you how to create a script for interacting and picking up weapons and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create that smooth transition with animations of picking up the weapon for your player as you're watching if you find this video helpful please remember to like and subscribe So as I said, this is a series. I'll link the previous videos in the description below in case you haven't watched those so you can get caught up to this point. I'll also link where I got my arms, which is from Open Game Art, as well as the weapons, which was from the Unreal Store. Both were free at the time I downloaded them. To go ahead and begin, we're going to go over to our player in the scene. We're going to go to its mesh. And then we're going to go down to the skeletal mesh and add our arms. And then because I want the arms to feel more like they're at the correct height, I'm going to change the Z to 30. And then I'm going to move them slightly forward and have them at 10 in the X. The next thing I want to do is drag in the gun that we brought in in the last video. I'm going to add it as a child to our character. And then down in its animation section, I want to make sure to have looping and playing as false. As this will be an animation for picking up the gun, I don't want it to constantly loop the picking up. And because I only want it to play once I've interacted with the weapon, I want playing on start to be false. As for the positioning of the weapon, since I animated the arms and the gun together in Blender, I know I want them to be in the same position in the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and put the X at 10, the Y at 0, and the Z at 30 as well. From there, I'm going to scroll down to the materials and go ahead and add those so it's not just gray. I'm going to go up to my world outliner and go ahead and delete this old gun that I had for the previous videos. And then I want to make sure I go back to my player and I'm going to look for my wielded object because now it's none and therefore null. And I want to make sure to put my new object that I just placed into the scene as that wielded object. This is all of the changes we'll be doing to the scene, so we can go ahead and go over to our content, go to our C++ classes, and go ahead and open our FP character controller. I'm going to start in the header, and all we're going to be doing in the header is adding two new U properties. And these U properties will be pretty much identical. They're both going to be edit anywhere. And they're both going to have the category of animation. And then the property itself is going to be a U anim sequence. And I'm going to name the first one gun up. And then I'm just going to copy paste this property and name the second one grab gun. And gun up is going to be the animation sequence for the gun, where the gun will be lifted up into a held position. And grab gun is going to be the animation sequence for the arm, where the arm looks like it's picking up the gun. That's all we're going to be doing to the header, so we can go ahead and go over to our CPP. And I'm going to scroll down to a function we created two videos ago, which is called interact. And within this function, we're going to be doing two things. We're going to be adding something to our if wielded statement, and then we're going to be creating another if statement for our arms. So the first thing I want to do here is add an and to this if statement and just say gun up. And all this is doing is making sure that my gun up is not null. And then I want to have the animation call for my wielded. So I'm going to go ahead and do wielded get skeletal mesh component. And then I want to set the animation. And the animation I'm setting it to is gun up. After we've set our animation, we want to be able to play this animation. So we're going to do the same general thing of wielded, get skeletal mesh component. Except this time we're going to do play animation. Then this has two parameters, the first one being our animation sequence, which is gun up, and the second one being whether we want to loop it or not, which will be false. Now that we have that, we're going to be doing essentially the same thing, but with our grab gun, so we're going to make sure that our grab gun animation sequence is not null. And then if it's not null, what we're going to do here is get our current mesh, as the mesh of this script is our arms. And then we're going to, again, set the animation, put grab gun, And then again, get mesh, and this time play animation. 
with once again the grab gun and false for looping. And that's all we'll be doing script wise, so go ahead and make sure that you save it, go back to the scene, and compile. So the compile failed, if I go ahead and show log, it's because I misspelled category. So we'll go ahead and go back to our header and fix that. We'll go ahead and save and compile again. Now that the compile's completed, we can go ahead and go to our player and scroll down. And for our gun up, we want to make sure to use the gun. And for our grab gun, we want to make sure to use the arms. Now we can go ahead and save and play. As you can see, my arms are there, and again, in two videos ago, when I created the interact function, we tied the input of X to grabbing the gun. So if I walk over to the gun and click X, you can see I pick it up with an animation. As a recap, we created animations that were callable through script to create a more smooth transition for the player when they're picking up their weapons. As always, I hope this video and this series was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments, or feel free to join our Discord, the link for that will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you for watching, see you next time.